Yeah, let's do it. All right. Nice, nice. So that's a, a nice groove, man, with the bass line and everything. Yeah. So that's and it's it's rooted off of the bass line, so uh -huh. Yeah, you know, that's Joe Smith, man. Rest uh -huh. in peace, legendary uh -huh. bass player right there. And drummer. Yeah. Yeah. And I saw you doing it with your foot too, so Yeah, so it gives you a little more flexibility with the chords, you know, like uh -huh. you get that in there a little bit. So what key are you in? We're in A flat. Okay. Yes, sir. So let's go through the number system and the scale. All right, so the number, uh, the scale of A flat is, uh, the one is A flat, two is B flat, three is C, mm -hmm. uh, D flat is the four, E flat is the five, mm -hmm. F is the six, G is the seven, and eight is A flat and it's the, also the one. All right. Okay. Yeah. So what's the what's the foundation primarily behind it? Because I, I hear like a church vibe. That's like some of the preacher chords that you would do. Like, Absolutely. I hear some of that in like traditional, like, you know, toe tapper songs. So right. what's the foundation behind what you're doing? So again, the foundation is predicated on the bass line, you know. So because, you know, we got the F sharp in there, that kind of is indicative that this, you know, kind of got the churchy thing on it. You know, it's, it's not major. It, I mean, that kind of worked, but it's, you know, it's not really the moment. Mm -hmm. So it's just, you know, it's kind of like that dominant thing. There's a lot of preacher chords in there. You know, God said on mm -hmm. that day, mm -hmm. he will. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. Okay. And so going back to the scale, like I said, because this whole thing is predicated on the bass line. So the scale, you know, we got... And so we're adding in this flat seven or a sharp six, but we're gonna call it flat seven today. That's okay. gonna be the F sharp, or sorry, G flat. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, West Coast, we, you know, we, the sharps is always on the ends, that's yeah. the tough part. But yeah, so we got, so the the root of the bass line is almost just the scales, so like adding in the B, you know, it's like the, the flat third, mm -hmm. so. So that's the foundation of it. So, I mean, I heard you doing some like filling and stuff. What was you doing? Kind of so, made it more funky. Yeah, that. I mean, you know, again, this is a baseline from an actual song from mm -hmm. a you know legendary bass player. Uh -huh. uh, my alter ego is a bass player. Uh -huh. and, you know, somewhere in another life, I'm somewhere really rocking out right now, but <laughs> it's not in this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I do my best to kind of you know emulate you know what the bass would feel like. So. It's, so even with that, I'm like bouncing off the. And I'm hearing that you're doing a lot of stuff with your mouth. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I was a drummer at first. Is that so. keeping your rhythm? Like, yeah, um, I don't even know. I think it's just a habit. Oh, know? okay. Just to, you know, I think it's just a habit, you know, just to hear rhythm. So mm -hmm. to make it make or to you know put it in context. So I'm just like. So you're just pretty much hitting anything like that's the No, nah, I'm hitting I'm bouncing like off the E flat. It's kind of selective. Now we on the organ. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you got like that little small little window of grace before the actual tone come out okay. versus you just hitting the note. So it's like Yeah. You know the higher you go, the more you hear it, but the lower Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like I'm utilizing it. That's what that's why it's a ghost note cuz it's mm -hmm. like not really you hear a note. It, yeah, you hear it but you don't really hear a note. Like you get a hint of a note. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's there, but it's not there. So it's a right. ghost. You know what I'm saying? So. Or even like just. So how can people practice that? Like, Do it slow. Suggest? Everything, everything that you want to get, you know, even because it's all rhythm at this point. Mm -hmm. and, and the only way to really, you know, achieve, you know, a, a level of, Perfection and rhythm is to just slow it down. So it's like. Uh, 
Let's turn it up a little bit, bro. You were sorry. So it's like you being the drummer without the drummer being there. So you hear like the one, two, three. My ring did it. See, it's like automatic. It's just in there, man. <laughs> Now, I noticed that you was doing something else, too, because the pattern is just pretty much... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. But sometimes I see you dun, 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 right. walking up to certain tones. Yeah, adding that, it's a, that, that, you know, that little flare in there, the little quick movement. So it's, it's like... Uh -huh. And then you can move it. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Just to uh -huh. give it some flare, put some character in it. That's that one. Okay. You know, yeah. So, how would you, what What would make you determine if you're going to use your hand or your foot? Like, because I saw that you was doing that with your foot too as well. But you could get, I, I mean, you know, I know guys that are really great with their uh, feet mm -hmm. on the organ. Um, I'm out of shape. So, <laughs> I'm like, my, my heel toe exercises are not as strong as they used to be. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then, you know, just for comfort and, and like I said, for feel, uh -huh. you know, it just depends. But so like it, at first when we started, I was going for the chords and the feel and the chords. So I was like, mm -hmm. like we could play it with one. But see, the, the, the voice and change. I don't hear that. You know what I'm saying? It's like we, could, we got more. Uh, you know, opportunity or availability having picking it up exactly. Uh -huh. You know, we, or we, you know, or spread it out versus ha having it here. Now, you know, I'm my preference would probably be more for the feel. So uh -huh. I think I'm gonna get more feel out of doing it this way. Because mm -hmm. you was in ghost notes and everything, right? But sometimes you can do the ghost notes with and then play the bass note too. Yeah, huh? yeah, but I ain't that fast. That's what I'm saying. Oh man, get out of here. Man, you doing it now. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just kind of, you know, keeping it there. That's but another secret, though, right? It's, I would say it, yeah, but I'm like, it's better here. Than this. But that creates that feel, those little ghost yeah, notes. Yeah, uh-huh. So you can put them anywhere, but I'm like, they mean more to me up down here. There. Yeah, or down here, either way, up on this manual, mm -hmm. in the bass register. So what chords would you play with your right hand? With those? So... Like with the pedal or with the with the left hand? Yeah, since we covered the left hand already. So just a quick fix, the way I'm just used to playing, it's really just a basic A flat chord. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's the second version. Mm -hmm. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> that is, that's right. You're okay. Right. So it's like just to move the melody. Dun, 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 dun. So it's, even on that, I'm cheating. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even hitting a middle note. I'm just. So let's break those down, just those first few dun, 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 dun. So we got A flat major. Yep. And 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 what I'm doing is there's a you know, it, it, we play chords like like that, you know. Drop you kinda two. lead a middle note. Yeah, exactly. Drop two. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing I'm doing in the bass line, because the bass line we play is the middle note. Yeah. yeah. So it's like it's just a little more it, it leaves it open and makes it a little funkier to me mm -hmm. to do it that way. So, mm. So I'm just adding that in to get the distance. So we can start there. So really. Mm -hmm. See, now would be. Gotcha. Just taking it. The yeah. middle note is a still a part of the chord. Exactly. Because you're playing it in, in the bass. Exactly. Much. So, so it's like you're going from the one, two. It's mm -hmm. like you're going up the scale. Yep. But you're just adding that B as an extra note. Exactly. That's like more of a half step thing. Dun, dun. Yeah, exactly. A little quick move. Dun, dun, dun. Otherwise, if you were to go one, two, three, how would that sound? Yeah. And I can't help but say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's that extra little, little yeah. feel right there. Dun. Exactly. And I'm like, you know, that's in there. It's like, because, again, I'm trying to compensate for, to be a bass player. Yeah. So it's like something, you know, has to go there. But for, for you know, uh, rudimentary purposes, it's... Mm -hmm. And it's like, when you slow that down, it sounds a little... Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like... Even if you do it like that, just... 
Get off it. You know what I'm saying? And it's got that ghost note. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's just a lot of it right there. Sorry. Mm-hmm. But you added that extra half step to yeah. give it some more. Uh, yeah. yeah. So the idea behind that is you're just taking that same chord, bringing yeah. it down a half step. That's on the three, bringing it down a half step. Mm-hmm. And coming yep. back up. Yeah, mm-hmm. just to get there quick. So what's the, the second half of it? So we got mm-hmm. and I did this. And it just kind of gives you that dissonance, you know, it kind of makes it thicker. Even though we're not playing a lot of notes. But that's almost like playing like that minor chord. Uh, yeah, exactly. But you simplified it. Yeah, it's just breaking it down. So for those of y'all that don't that don't know, when you're in the kit A flat when you're on the five, yeah. that's one of those preacher chords that you could do. Absolutely. So E flat minor nine, yep. you just took it. And simplify it so you can move right with it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that way you can kind of keep it all in the, in the same area. Mm-hmm. So what what are you doing on the F? Just so doing like, that, that same A flat chord. Mm-hmm. You can either put it in or take it out. Mm-hmm. I think I like it without it. Mm-hmm. Or either way. Yeah. That's over the F sharp. We just add an A flat back in to that same chord we did over E flat. Yeah, but over the F sharp, that's more like a major seven, major nine. Yeah. Thing. I like that. And then. And the walk up. Did you start on F? Or? Yep. So, so, uh, so. So basically what Dave is doing, he's going back to the one. Right. And you're just using half steps to get back there. Yeah, just a chromatic walk up from there. So what's the one chord that you're working your way And to? it's kind of, we kind of basing off that tritone thing, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And we just adding the, the top. Yeah. It's really that. If you play that by You can do that too, yeah. Yeah, it sounds good. Show that, do, do that slow. That one. Yeah, that one. Okay. Yeah. So hold them one, one time. So, so on the F. Just yeah, starting from the F. Okay. The walk up. Yeah, that's an F tritone. Yep. Then the G flat tritone. Yep. Then the G tritone. Mm-hmm. And then the A flat. And then the alternate way to walk up was what, what did you play? The other chord. You oh. just added the top. Just added the top. The three. So that's more dominant seven, like a full dominant right, seven. Right, like right. So how would that work in contest? Can you play with the loop and everything? Okay. Or maybe like, slow it down to a little bit. All right. So they can really see. So Let's slow it down. Um, I'm going to slow it down about 30 BPM from what we had it. Okay. So, so we were at 110. I'm going to take it down to 80. That might be too slow, but it'll give us a very clear view of what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Oh, here we go. So. Mm-hmm. Just a walk up right there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now, if y'all hear me, my timing is like a little bit more challenged because it's slow. But again, this is a uh, this is a practice technique you can use to make your timing better. Mm-hmm. I see you doing. Yeah. That's me, you know. Imitating the loop. Yep. Mm hmm. 